How is it going guys and welcome to the Olufemi channel. We're a group of teachers that want to shore up your video production skills in as little time as possible. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dave here. Today we're going through some setup tricks just to speed up your workflow. I've picked those up along the years and they've really helped me out and made my life easier in Premiere. So we're going to jump straight in and go through them. Say you've done your video or you need to test sounds for a section of the video. This right here is from a previous video we did. As you can see, I've rendered the clip. So the top is green. So the, there's a green line that means that this has been pre-rendered. That means there's not going to be any lag when you're going through the video. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the color of this one or just add a bit of a fade. And as you can see, that clip right there, above it, there's a yellow line. So I've set a shortcut. I'll just set my in and out points and if i press enter what that's going to do is that's going to render the clip and i'll just clear my in and out if you go up to sequence and render into out that's what you're after and i've set it to my entry key so i can just render stuff really quick and that'll just mean your clip will just play smoothly second thing as far as setup goes i always 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 make sure that this option is selected right there. So show audio time units. If that's not selected, your cursor is only going to cut where the frames are. So as you can see, my cursor is moving to where the frames are. And obviously you can't cut in between frames, but when it comes to audio, you've got finer cuts that you can make. So if you select this show audio time units option, then that means that you can fine edit some of your audio. Whereas before, if that option wasn't there, I can only move my audio frame by frame and cut it that way as well. Before we move on to the next setup trick, I just wanna let you know that this tutorial is brought to you by the 360 Kinetic Transitions Pack. It's got over 400 high quality samples, especially made for video editors, just to spice up the video. Sometimes you make a video and you want those finals final touches and that's what this is it's just i personally use them all the time and it just elevates those videos to the next level so yeah check it out links in the description and let's get back to the tutorial another thing as far as setup goes i use the option key in my scroll wheel to zoom in and out to wherever i need to go so that makes life really easy if you press shift and s what that will do is if you listen carefully it will play the audio so you can kind of make like super fine cuts. So say you've got a hit or something that you want to really synchronize with the frame that's playing. You can really get that really precise because you can kind of hear the audio. So you're scrolling through the audio. If you want to turn that off, you just press shift S again, and you can just scroll through your audio without listening to the little segments. Another thing I use a lot is activate and deactivate clip. The shortcut for me is shift command e and you can find that in your keyboard shortcuts so the actual name of that command is enable so that's what i use to activate and deactivate my clips so yeah that's the video hopefully you guys enjoyed that hopefully you know you found something there that will just speed up your workflow i use these all the time so yeah until next time have a good one guys peace